Is the Scarlet Witch about to return? Well, we got a new trailer for Agatha all along, and boy, did it drop some huge Easter eggs, kind of signaling the return of the Scarlet Witch, or at least definitely acknowledging her being around and possibly being part of the show. Heck, we're not even sure that, that was her body. Let's take a couple minutes to break down all the Easter eggs and clues from the most recent trailer, talk about those dates on that library card, and why they are actually pretty important. Now before we do that though, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, and ring the bell for all the updates. We do daily Marvel and DC videos, we want to be your place for all the superhero news, but we're going to bring it to you truthfully and transparently, so you are in the know. Well, recently we got the new trailer for Agatha All Along. The series seems to be setting quite a new bar for Marvel horror, and the new trailer really dropped a lot of new stuff on fans. Now, monsters, witches, and the supernatural realms are clearly going to be a huge part, and this is something that really excited me. Now, when the trailer broke, it became pretty clear as you go through it that not only is Agatha Harkness well at the center of the story, but she's not alone, and I think that secondary character is going to be Wanda Maximoff. Now, I don't think Wanda's going to be standing there in dialogue and interacting with these characters for the whole series, but there are a lot of clues that Wanda's influence, well, is going to be felt far and wide. We saw Wanda's body, well, at least a version of that body. We're going to get to that in a second. But there was also that big reveal of the library card. In that one quick shot, we get a classic U.S. library card, and this card has a bunch of dates. Wanda's name is next to October the 13th, and we even get the state of New Jersey and Westview mentioned at the bottom. Now, luckily, we have some internet sleuths looking out for our cause. I want to reach out and thanks to Lee Goff, who basically uncovered almost all of these details for the channel. Make sure you check him out over on Twitter. Our resident Sherlock Holmes really unveiled some great details. It makes me think even more possibly Wanda could be coming back. But first, let's take a minute to look at that dead body. Now, in the trailer, we see what looks to be a dead Wanda Maximoff laying in the woods. This is part of that police procedural scene that Agatha seems to be part of, which definitely is torn right out of the WandaVision playbook, and it seems like she's, well, in a TV show. Now, we see the blackened hands from the Darkhold, but we have to ask ourselves if this is all still within the confines of the hex that's in Westview, and is any of it actually real? It did appear Wanda Maximoff died at the end of Multiverse of Madness, but this has been an ongoing thing, and even Kevin Feige has alluded to her return. Now, when you look at the body, it doesn't reveal very much, but there are some details that provide us some clues. First and foremost, it's her clothes. That is not how Wanda was dressed when she died. And if you start to look closer, those clothes are, well, rather familiar. If you go back and watch Multiverse of Madness, when the Earth 838 Wanda is defending her children, well, that sweatshirt and jeans on that dead body, they start to look pretty familiar. This instantly has me asking myself if this is the 616 version of Wanda or the 838, and it seems to indicate the primary version of Wanda could still be alive, with this even teasing her return. Now, it's unclear right now how far this procedure will play in the show, but it is an interesting detail, and that blue sweatshirt, while well, we never saw the 616 Wanda wear that, and the fact that it looks so close to the alternate, well, it really has me thinking. Now, let's jump back to that library card. Once again, this library card is from the classic U.S. library system, and all of these dates are, well, rather interesting. And like any show, none of them have been put there by accident. And we've been able to review what each and every one of these clues are. So let's start at the top. Now, the first date at the top is February the 16th. And this is actually Elizabeth Olsen's birthday, the actress who plays Wanda Maximoff. Now, the next date on the list is August the 28th. Comic book fans might recognize that one because this is Wanda Maximoff co-creator Jack Kirby's birthday. Now, the third one is June the 2nd. And although this one doesn't tie to a creator, in WandaVision, this is the date that Agnes reveals to Wanda is her and Ralph's anniversary. So the date was definitely referenced in the show. Now, the next date on the list is December the 28th. If you're a comic book fan, that also might seem familiar, because that's the other creator of Wanda Maximoff, Stan Lee's birthday, something we celebrate every year. Now, the next date is January the 21st, and this one was a little tougher. But if you go back and look at WandaVision and some of the support material, this was actually the day the Zucker timepiece ad was released as sort of an add-on to the show. And then finally, October the 13th. This is the one that has Wanda's name beside it. Now, this was one of the tougher ones. And there's not a definitive direct tie to an October the 13th of any year. But interestingly enough, 
The news that Elizabeth Olsen was going to play the Scarlet Witch broke in October of 2013. So not quite as spot on, but definitely once again tied to the actress and the character of the Scarlet Witch. Now I actually think at the end of the Witch's Road, we're going to find Wanda Maximoff waiting for Agatha Harkness. Now whether she forgives Agatha or not, that's going to be the big question. Because at the end of the day, Wanda did come to her senses after being influenced by the Darkhold, and Agatha herself was also under the influence of the Darkhold when she trapped Wanda in Westview. Now, obviously, we have to wait till September to start getting these questions answered, and I expect we're going to find some more Easter eggs in that trailer sometime really soon. This show is going to be something dark and different for Marvel, actually the first time they've ever put demons on screen, so I am super curious on where Marvel's going with this, what the rating's going to be, and the impact of completing the path down the Witch's Road, and what they find at the end. Could they be re-releasing the Scarlet Witch? Well, we're going to have to wait and see.